I don't know why I'm documenting this, but I guess I just felt like it. It's not like anyone's going to listen to a random 13 year old anyway. So again, I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyways, my name is Stanley. Most kids at my school know me as the quiet kid, so I don't really have any friends, but that's not why I'm making this, well, I don't know if I should call it a report. I'm just really recording this into my phone anyway. Get on with it. You all know the game Plants vs. Zombies, right? Well, I had never heard of it at the time. The story takes place on the last day of school for me. I was in seventh grade. Yeah, I'm a grade behind. Anyways, I was watching all the other kids play on their phones or DS's. I didn't have my phone on me, so I couldn't do anything besides read and watch others. Well, that's why I noticed the new game. I had one I'd never seen before. It looked like a tower defense game, but I was unsure. If it was, the tower seemed to be plants for some reason, and the attackers were zombies. That's when the kid noticed me peeking and just turned around so I couldn't watch. But that didn't matter. I was already intrigued. I got home, I looked it up and found out the name. You probably already guessed it, but it was Plants vs. Zombies. The game was developed by PopCap, and it was fairly new, only coming out last year. It was on PC, so I downloaded it. I was sure my parents wouldn't mind if I spent a little money on the game. I would have told them later, but I think I kind of forgot. It was still downloading by the time I was called down for dinner. After I got done with that, I went back upstairs to check on the game. What I saw kind of confused me. It was still downloading, only at around 40%. At the time, I shrugged it off, but now I realize that it wasn't because of my computer. By the time it was fully downloaded, it was 9 o'clock, so I just went to bed. I was already exhausted for some reason that I can't fully remember. I woke up the next morning and headed straight for my computer. It was time to finally try it. I don't know what I was expecting, but what happened was not it. The game went to the loading screen, and after the PopCap logo, the sky was blood red. That sky carried over to the menu. Maybe it was a coloring issue, but it fell off. And I know now that it definitely wasn't a coloring issue. Again, I didn't think much of it, just trying out all the different features, or at least I tried to. Apparently everything was locked until I further went into the adventure, so I clicked on that. The hand popped out of the ground, followed by an ear-piercing scream. It hurt. It felt like my ears were ringing, even seconds after the scream had ended. The level eventually started though, and eventually I forgot about the rain. It started out as normal, giving me the tutorial for the plant that was known as Pea Shooter. Imagine a bell sprout, but a little bit different. Mostly green, but that's not that important. Though as soon as the level continued, I felt as if the zombies became more overwhelming. There was more than there should be, and one even got to one of the Pea Shooters. The sunflower tutorial wasn't much better. Note for now, I don't feel like going into every single plant, so I'm not going to talk about them from now on. Anyways, the zombies were worse than last time. They had started to spawn almost as soon as the tutorial was over, swarming my screen before I could get any pea shooters down. The next level was a bowling level. Basically, you would use these plants called walnuts to bowl the zombies, but that level, it was almost too hard. The level should have had these things called explodo nuts, but instead, it only gave me the basic forms, which made it much harder. Too many swarms of zombies and too few walnuts to deal with them. I guess I beat it after an hour or so, but it still felt much longer. The next two levels were almost the exact same as some of the previous. Continuous amounts of zombies and me just not having enough time to plant anything. I used probably a lot more cherry bombs than I should have, but eventually I did beat them. Upon completing day, it gave me access to the new area. Or, well, the night area. And at that point, I guess I had to leave the room for a little, because I remember doing something, but after that, I returned. The game had turned off when I got back, so I reopened it. Before I did though, I had to do a bit of searching, and after a while, I found it. It wasn't named Plants vs. Zombies.exe or PBZ.exe like I thought it was. Instead, it was named DeadPlants.exe. PopCap did have a weird history of naming things, so I think I just didn't really care that much about it. But looking back, I think I understand it now. I went to the night area and used the so-called mushroom plants to fend off the zombies. This section had a new gimmick, those being the graves, and there was supposed to be writing on them. But what I found wasn't anything funny or goofy. It was actually quite disturbing. Instead of having some sort of, like, fun, goofy message, it had recent celebrities that had passed away. People like Michael Jackson and Billy Mays. Whenever I used the Grave Buster on the graves, a message popped up. 
why? Level 5 was a whack-a-mole minigame, and like the bowling one, it was much tougher. Gravebuster had been removed from my slots, so I was overwhelmed a lot more by the usual barrage of zombies. Whenever I killed a zombie, a small pool of blood formed on the tile it died on. This game was freaking me out, and at one point, I even shut it down. But I opened it up back later, curious how the rest of the game played out. I added a layer of difficulties, zombies spawning in it before I could even build up a proper defense. My lily pads would be drowned, and I would lose lawnmowers within the first couple seconds. But I proceeded onwards, fighting the amount of zombies. Why did I make that sound heroic? But again, it was strange. After the fifth or sixth level, the water started to turn red. And it wasn't a normal red, it was blood red. It just kept getting darker and darker with each level. This would continue into the next section, which was the fog area. Basically just the pool at night. The fog covered most of the screen, and like night, it still seemed to be stormy in the background. The water was again a blood red, but it seemed much darker, almost dried at this point. The rest of the game played out like normal. The music in the background, though, I don't even like to think about it. It was high-pitched and full of static. And the more I played, the higher it got. At one point, I even shut off the music and just played something off of a mix I made. It was nice to hear silence, but I could still hear it in a way, ringing in my ears. Finally, I got to the last level of fog. From the videos I would later watch, it was supposed to have lightning that would flash, giving you glimpses of the screen. But nothing happened. At least, not at first. I knew the layout of the lawn, so I just started placing plants randomly, hoping they would kill off the large amounts of zombies. After about two or three minutes of this, lightning finally flashed, and for a second, I saw the zombies. But it wasn't what I had seen throughout the game. The zombies were all almost unhinged. They seemed to have blood dripping from their eyes, but from the flash. I couldn't even tell if they had eyes. Maybe, but the eyes just seemed to be empty sockets. No more lightning flash for the rest of the level, at least until I beat it, where it then flashed when I picked up the cabbage pulp. So I'm just gonna be a bit short, but I don't have much to talk about here. The roof was just the most unbearable thing I'd ever experienced in a video game. There were almost too many zombies, and I wasn't sure if I could make it through each level. Something I also never really thought of was the music. Somehow it had been turned back on. It was like the roof theme, but slowed and almost demonic. I didn't think to turn it off, I just didn't like listening to it. It killed my ears, and when I turned off my headphones at one point, it was like I could still hear it, just looping in my mind. Everything about this stage was hard, but when I got to the end, I got a letter that didn't seem to be written by a zomboss or even a zombie. The note was not signed. Well, it was, but I couldn't read what it had tried to write out. I could barely read what it said in the first place. The note, looking back on it, didn't make a lot of sense. It didn't really have good grammar, and yeah. The only reason I was tense was because of before. The game then took me to the front lawn. The lawn was about twice the size, giving me seemingly more room. When it went to show the zombies, there were none. Instead, it panned past and showed me a mirrored lawn. Though it looked the same, it was completely unsaturated, only showing black and white. Then it allowed me to pick my seeds. I didn't fully know what was going on, so I just picked a selection of plants. I only remember picking sunflower, pumpkin, and repeater anyways. The level then panned out, showing the two lawns, and the sky had turned to a shaded red, much darker than the one on the title screen. At this point, I had just started planting down sunflowers when something appeared on the opposite lawn. It was another sunflower, but it wasn't the same as mine. The plant was completely unsaturated, barely having it blacking out outlines. It had no pupils, as if to give off hollow eyes. The petals had holes throughout them, like they were bitten into. This trait was carried into their leaves. Unlike the normal sunflower, it wasn't smiling, and it wasn't producing sun. Then again, nothing about this was normal. Soon after, a pea shooter spawned as well. Again, its design was corrupted, using the same color scheme as the sunflower and having seemingly hollow eyes. I started firing peas at my sunflowers. The peas were rotten and decayed. They were still cartoony, but it was creepy how real they looked in a way. The level would go on and on, and as it went on, more and more plants would spawn on the other side. 
Like the other plants, they were all decayed, and they did more damage than I could. It wasn't until Potato Mine that I realized what these were. Each plant, now that I noticed it, had bite marks, all resembling a zombie bite mark. My theory is that these were the plants that had died to the zombies, the dead plants. The level would fill to the brim with these, spilling even onto my lawn and killing off anything that was there. By the end, I just had some sunflowers and pumpkins, but those had started to decay away. The level static was getting louder and louder, and the screen had started to glitch out. Eventually, it glitched to a point where I couldn't see anything, just pure white. Then, a blood-curdling scream could be heard. It killed my ears to the point where I could do nothing else but cuff my ears. Like, I didn't have headphones and it didn't really help anyway. After that, the white screen turned black. White text popped up. Why did you do this to us? At first, I didn't know what it was talking to us. Then, it said it again. Why did you do this to us? After that, I got it. These were the dead plants speaking, asking why they had died. The game then glitched again. Two red stripes went through the screen on the black text after the game crashed. The game wouldn't open for the rest of my time trying. It just kept going to the white screen, then the black, then the stripes. Finally, after an hour or so, I just started crying. I don't know why. I probably just felt really bad or something. I don't even know what about. But I cried. I cried and swore and sat there, staring at the file. It wasn't long after that that I tried deleting the file, but like a virus, it always just kept coming back, but it would never let me open. Eventually, my dreams started to be infested with these creatures. They would start out normally, but at some point would be drained of color. Eventually, I'd be surrounded by the decaying plants. The difference is that the plants were much more realistic and seemed to actually have hollow eyes. Eyes that, well, not having any pupils, just seemed to stare at you. Eventually, their eyes would flow out blood and you could hear the words in the background. Black ooze would flow out flowing onto the plant and then onto the ground. Eventually I'd get drowned in this, well, I guess blood. Then I would wake up. Finally, the plants in my neighborhood would start dying. Nothing would save them. They would just decay away. Then, when we weren't paying attention, they would turn to dust. Eventually there was just no focus on them. People have started to move out recently. I'm guessing the plants dying is why. I looked all throughout the internet and no one else had even heard of this. Well, no one but one other person, but that video was pretty much confirmed to be fake. Almost every other video that played through this game would end in a Zomboss fight, and the game looked normal, nothing compared to what mine looked like. Originally, I thought of it as just a stupid joke, but with the plants dying and everything going on, I'm not sure anymore. This is it. The end of the story. My parents decided that we were moving soon, probably because of these plants all dying. Maybe it's time that I go, but not with them. I found one of the kitchen knives earlier. It's currently sitting on my desk next to my phone that I'm recording this on. I don't know if living is going to be worth it anymore due to all the suffering. Maybe it's just me being a teen, but I don't want to live anymore. If anyone finds this, please know that this all is. This is the reason. I'm going to join now. May my last words be thank you for listening and goodbye.